little bit of exercise right in front of you guys. Right in front of you guys. <laughs> Around the ball. <laughs> you are a good whale. Very good. Very good. That was very nice. That was awfully pretty. Awfully pretty. Yes, it was. What we're starting to see now is an animal who's starting to explore his environment, who's starting to manipulate his own environment and become master of his environment within this environment here, the pool that he lives in. Hi, big guy. I know, you're gonna have to focus on me. You got cameras and all sorts of fun things, but focus on me. like having some fun this morning. Um, Keiko arrived a, a year ago today, um, rather underweight for a killer whale his size. He weighed 7,720 pounds. Uh, in the last year, we've put uh, 1,000 pounds, maybe a little bit more on him in weight. Um, we've increased his cardiovascular fitness. He's living in a pool that's roughly four times the size he was living in in Mexico City. Um, so he has to cover a, a bigger area to begin with. <laughs> oh, nose right in the window. <laughs> nose in the window. Fun cam crew down there, huh? And I think one of our biggest concerns is going to be that he has been in captivity for so long and been around human beings that he's very friendly. And we've yet to start weaning him off social interaction. And so we would not put him back in the water until we believe he's weaned off of us. But right now, he is very, very friendly. And it would certainly be dangerous for him to be put into the wild and asked to survive when he is still so dependent on social interaction. Between the wires. Between the wires. <laughs> 